Hello everyone, I'm Blade, and welcome to my Wonderland. <laughs> it is quite literally Wonderland this episode as we dive deep into the rabbit hole and retrieve two epic figures. One which I knew I could get and then the other one... Oh my goodness, I did not think I could get her and I got her! Oh my god, just make sure to see close to the end and you'll see me unbox her as well. Without further ado, let's crack open the first box, shall we? And it looks like quite a big one, and <laughs> wow, look at that outer wrapping. Let's get out the knife and crack this bad boy open. Now then, first figure is a Mythos Fairy Tale Alice in Wonderland, another white rabbit, 1 8 scale PVC, which I purchased for 175 USD dollars, and the shipping was actually free. I got this off of eBay. And yes, you have to be careful trying to get official figures on eBay, but with my experience, I felt pretty confident. Though I don't usually purchase from Chinese sellers just because they're known for selling a lot of bootlegs and that, and I know there's a lot of good stores still there. But because it is actually a Chinese brand, I thought it'd be pretty safe. And looking at the seller, they had a high rating, good reputation, and everything in their store looked legit, so I thought, I think I'll get that from here. Now, <laughs> I sped this up quite a bit, but this took me seven minutes to get to this point, and I still had this bubble wrap to get out of it. They packed it so well. I, wow. For the first unboxing this year, this is packed absolutely brilliantly. In comparison to Iron Summer last year. <laughs> now then, she is finally out of the box. And I can't wait to crack her open. There we go, gotta check the official seal stamp of my boss. Beautiful. And look at this box. <gasps> First you have this glimmery hat artwork and then you've got the artwork on the back of the box. Another teapot reference and the title, White Rabbit Fairy Tale, with a quite decent window featuring inside a framed clock. I really love the artwork for this and I can't wait to see how close the figure is to it. But this box, mm, this box is one of the most beautiful boxes I have ever got. It's just, it's an artwork in itself. Now let's slice the box open. Mm, nice. This is one thing I really love about my first figures and this is my first brand new one is they come with cards. Like, thank you for your purchase, if you want to contact us, which is very nice. And, of course, a little card of the original artwork it was based on. Thank you for choosing us. Isn't it just gorgeous? I can't believe such a detailed artwork they would choose to create into figures, but seeing all the figures they do, it's incredible. So I knew I had to pick this up. I was risking it because even though it's been out for a while, the price has been really good for this particular figure. And it's slowly risen up and, oh, look at the inside of the box, sorry, quickly. Look at the inside of the box. And it's slowly risen up and I thought I'd better quickly grab it at sale price before I won't be able to get it anymore, knowing my first figures. They do rise up after a while. But this one, you still might be able to snatch it up for a reasonably good price. Look at this base. Oh, this is a sculpture in itself. It's just, I feel this is more of a statue than a figure. And package really well too. They give lots of room, but the thing is, not too much. You know when you get boxes and they feel like they either take up too much space, you think what's the point, but no, this is actually pretty well packed, considering. Look at the shading. Oh, just... It's gorgeous in the base. Now let's check out the rabbit herself. Oh my. If I wanted a waifu based off the white rabbit, this is what it is. Can you see her eyes? She has little clock hands in her eyes. Not to mention her necklace with the... I love chains, like chains and bandages or anything. I just love detail-wise. Her hair, everything fits together beautifully. You've got the... Well, you're going to put the pin in at the back. <sighs> Details and oh, her red shoes too. I love how they've got... All this matte detail in her shoes are really shiny. Creates great contrast, especially to her tights, which are given such a, like a mystic. And her little tail! 
Now the only issue I have is this little pay transfer there, which looks like a fingerprint, but aside from that, everything else looks in ship shape, perfect, no issues. But now is the thing of putting her on the base. And I was nervous for this because the elbow is quite easy, but the one that's sort of in her dress leg was very hard to see where to line up and put in. So it took me a little bit of shuffling and I wanted it to be as secure as possible because the last thing I would want is her to fall out, of course. And eventually we wheeled her in and the bottom peg doesn't fit as tightly as I would like, but the top one fits pretty securely and since putting her in, she has had no issues, she hasn't fallen out. But, oh my goodness, can we just take a moment to look at her? There she is, all together, and wow. I am speechless. She is gorgeous. I feel like they could have not done the artwork any more justice without getting too carried away with looking at this gorgeous rabbit. Moving on to a little extra unboxing to another Mythos figure that I never thought I would be able to get because she was one of the original first ones. I've seen her in a few people's collections, but as far as her aftermarket price, it was flamed up to hell. <laughs> Cheapest I saw her was Australian dollars, 600, and that was not even including postage. So I quickly took her off my wish list, but one fateful day, I managed to get her on auction on Yoko. I could not believe it. As well as I had to, as soon as I got this figure, I just had to unbox it. So you are very not professionally done like unboxing but still I wanted to show you guys so badly okay so I'm being well not naughty but kind of naughty in my opinion I wanted to do an unboxing for this but I want to unbox it now and because of how delicate it is I yeah ah, anyway so excited just cut it open and, ah! so this is a package from Nyoko proxy service this figure is something that I only dreamed about getting. Oh, they've wrapped it so well there. Put it aside. That's all that's in the box. You know, you just have to check whatever reason. <laughs> that's everything. Oh my goodness. I never thought I would get this figure, but seeing it at an epic auction prize, I had to bid for it and I won. And I'm so thrilled. Ah, let's open it. Okay, quickly pulled the tripod out. The lighting is still terrible, so forgive me, but I just can't wait. Oh, poking, you've got a little spike there. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! There she is. She is just to die for. Cleaning time!
Here is the Mythos 1 8 White Rabbit. Next to you, the Queen of Hearts 1 8 Scale by Mythos. Tali from Mass Effect, Kotobukiya. Tato Sakura Miku prize figure. And Jubriel Nendroid by Good Smile Company. For the White Rabbit supposedly being 1 8 scale, it really looks 1 7 scale in my opinion, especially looking at the 1 8 scale Queen of Hearts of the same series. They're meant to be the same scale, but they do not look it at all. Ooh, what's this? We're in my room. This is a bit different of me. <laughs> of recent, I've had an obsession, especially since I got the Queen of Hearts, to have an Alice in Wonderland section. And see, we've got the Alice by Native here, which I got her last year for an awesome prize. She's so beautiful. And the current little weird selection of Alice in Wonderland themed characters here. But they're going to be taken out because this is going to become my Alice in Wonderland shrine. Since I got this Alice, I thought I would really love a whole section dedicated to my favourite characters of the original story. Oh, looking at her there closely. Yes, I have a ribbon for the uh, um, chest issue. <laughs> Cleaning the detail. Ever since I got the native Alice, I really wanted to do this. This pushed me. I loved the Mythos White Rabbit figure so much, but I couldn't see it with any of my other figures. But once I got it, I thought this would look really good with this native Alice figure. And so that prompted me to buying both of those. And then looking at Nyoko thinking, <laughs> I'm never going to find uh, this Queen of Hearts, but I was looking at Mythos, just that title in Nyoko search and auctions, and I found the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> I could not believe! So I had to pick her up. After moving them around, this is the best formation I could come up with and how satisfying does it look? I feel like, opposed to the, the Alice that's meant to go with this set, I feel like this Alice goes better. It looks the same scale as the rabbit because she is actually one six scale and the rabbit looks one six scale. The only thing is the Queen of Hearts looks one eight. Now to complete this, I'm actually thinking of not adding another one. Do you think I could fit this in? <laughs> it's looking a little crowded but still as I like to call it chaotic harmony in there and my idea is to get the Cheshire Cat by Mythos and fit it in there with those other beautiful girls. Maybe I'll have the Queen of Hearts at back because she's a smaller scale she will look maybe more in proportion higher up at the back and then I'll have the Cheshire Cat at the front. We'll see how we go but either or I've ordered it she's on her way so I'll have all the main characters but might I say for my dream Alice in Wonderland section is it is perfect! It's everything I ever wanted and this combination looks so beautiful together. You've got the pinks and the reds. I feel like that's a big part of my collection as far as other figures I have as well. I adore this so much I cannot literally stop looking at this. I just, I smile every time. What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay, I'll stop, stop. Lastly, I would just like to say thank you so much for all of your support. We've almost reached 400 followers, I cannot believe it. I hope you all enjoyed this video this week. We're just beginning this year and I have so many epic videos lined up for you all. So make sure if you're not already to subscribe. Any questions or if you just want to chat, send a comment. Until next week, stay safe, treat yourself and I'll catch you same day, same time. Bye! Bye.